Yeah, you guessed it. This week's video is about audio ducking. Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? It's time for another video for PinnacleStudioPro.com. That's right, it's me, your boy, Malik. Holding it down one more time, bringing you that Pinnacle Studio goodness you love. So today we're talking about audio ducking. Audio ducking allows the audio to duck whenever a narrator or a speaker is doing a voiceover and it makes the volume of the music go down when an individual is speaking. So let's jump off in the Pinnacle Studio 19 Ultimate and I'll show you how to get it done. Here we are in Pinnacle Studio 19 Ultimate. Audio ducking allows you to use voiceovers or video and then add music to another timeline track and automatically raise and lower the volume of the music track based on whether the speaker is speaking or not. So as you can see, I got some beautiful music down in uh, track number three and I got some beautiful video in track number two. Now you could use, like let's say at the start of this, I had an intro and I had like some pictures or something showing a title and I had the music just flowing like this at the beginning. And then I'm ready to start my voiceover right here like, BAM! Okay, so basically what I wanna do is, in order to get my voiceover lined up correctly, I wanna take my video track and I'm gonna line it up so that I start speaking at the same place. You see the waveform of my voice start around the same place as the waveform of the music starting. So let's check out how that sounds real quick. Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? It's time for another video from Pinnacle Studio Pro. Alright, I like that. It's pretty good. Synced up to the beginning of my speaking with the real, uh, I guess, 8 bar start of the song. So to enable audio ducking, I can right click on the clip that I have my voiceover or that I'm speaking on or that the narration is happening. I can right click on that clip and then go to audio ducking or in the toolbar I have an audio ducking button. So I'm going to click on the audio ducking button. Now it tells you about audio ducking here, it gives you an explanation of what it is and then it wants to know what is the master track. The master track is a track where you have the individual speaking, whether it's a voiceover, whether it's a video, whatever. So my master track is track number two. All right, I can change it to different tracks here. The ducking level. The ducking level is the percentage that your music volume will decrease. So if I have it set to 60, then it's going to go down. 60% uh, of the volume will be gone. And then I will only be able to hear the other 40% of the volume. And now you also have your threshold. The threshold determines um, how long the fades take because it's going to fade into the lower volume so how long do you want the fade to be do you want it to be quick do you want it to take a little longer so the lower the threshold the quicker the fade will be and that's how that works now for this first one i'm going to leave it at um 60 and 20 and i'm going to click on ok and you see that automatically keyframes were added to bring down my volume when you see that I'm speaking and it goes back up when I am not speaking and it goes back down when I'm speaking. So that's pretty lovely. So I'm going to press play and see what this sounds like. Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? It's time for another video from PinnacleStudioPro.com. All right, that sounded pretty good, but let's say I want more volume. All right of the music. Then I can just click on audio ducking again. And let's say I move it to uh, 50%. So 
So now I have 10% more volume of the music. So I'm going to click on OK. And you'll see when I do that, that the volume, the green volume line is going to go up a little bit, at least the ones that are down. There you go. So now I got a little bit more volume. So let's see how that sounds. Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? It's time for another video from PinnacleStudioPro.com. Now, what I don't like was, I like the volume. The volume's good, but what I don't like is right here at the end, it actually cuts, the volume cuts back in too fast for me. So I can move those keyframes and basically put them where I want. Let's say if I click on the mixer room, now these are enabled. So now I can just left click, hold it down and drag this to the right. Do the same thing with this one down here. And I like that. So let's see if my voice is no longer cut off. The video from PinnacleStudioPro.com. That's right. It's me, your boy, Malik. Holding it down one. And if there's other ones in here, I noticed there's some other ones that seem to be before the, the uh, speaking stops. I can move those over and adjust those as needed as well. And that's it, baby. Audio ducking in Pinnacle Studio 19 Ultimate. You're welcome. All right, guys. If you like the content that I'm bringing to you, do me a favor. Click on the thumb, the one that's pointing in the upward direction. Comments. Leave me your comments. I will help you. I love getting back to my Pinnacle Studio peeps. If I can't help you, I'll point you in the right direction to get you the help that you need. And last... But definitely not least, subscribe. If you want Pinnacle Studio goodness like this on a regular basis, you got to subscribe. Otherwise, you're going to be missing out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.